Hey, it's Aurora Cosplay again! Now this is part 3 of my video. If you don't understand what's going on, watch parts 1 and 2 right here. Um, this should be part of a playlist, so you can just click uh, somewhere around here or in the description. There's a link to that playlist of how to make armour from start to finish. When I left you in the last video, we had a bunch of these cut out pieces and this piece of warbler. So now we're actually going to cover these individual bits in warbler and make them look kind of organic like and then stick them onto here and then also make the things that stick up. So quick order of things for the video just so you know what's going to go down. Uh, I'm going to be covering these in warbler and like making them all organic and cool like and so I'll do this row. Uh, I'll do a couple on camera, do the rest, so I'll do this row and then there's a sticky up bit of uh, sort of flaky thing, I don't know, that sticks up. I will do that and show you it and then obviously I'll do the rest off camera so then you get an idea of what's going down and then stick them on all on here. So here's what we're going to do, is we're going to trace all of the pieces. So you know which way is up on this, I mean this is really important, knowing which way is going to be up. So every bit that I've written the label on, I know that's going to be facing up on my arm piece and it's going to be sticking to the sticky side of this face. So I'm going to use the sticky side of this and put this face down, so the label face down, onto my bit of warbler and I'm going to trace it out like so that'll do and then i'm going to cut it out and i'm going to leave quite a margin around that so i can wrap this piece in warbler so literally it'll like bend round so then i've got a warbler piece to stick to the base piece and you'll you'll see what i'm getting at so i just got this and i'm going to cut half a i have no idea just a uh, I don't know, a pinky's width. That's not even a pinky's width. That's not anything at all, really. So it's about this much bigger than my actual thing. If I put it on here, in the right way around, there we go. That's going to be enough to actually wrap around it. And if, you know, it's not enough, I can just shift it about so there's some bits bigger than the other. It doesn't matter how rough you are, as long as it's actually going to bend over. So one thing I like to do before I do anything is uh, draw where the squares are going to like live on here, which will give me a good idea for when I actually stick them on. I don't stick them all in the wrong place. So one thing is key. This is so curved and it's really impossible to work with right now. Well, not impossible, but it's annoying. So heat it up a bit to flatten out your piece. That's flat, nice and flat. I'm just going to leave it to cool down so it hardens up again because I don't need to stick anything to it yet. So I'm going to roughly place these bits. So now it's roughly spaced out where I want it to be on the thing. So earlier I said that you needed quite a large margin around your base piece and it's because of this. Because we're going to be spacing things out and these are going to be slightly bigger on the detailed front, it's kind of handy. So now I'm literally just doing this, tracing where everything is going to go. So yeah, now I know roughly where everything is going to go. And I'm keeping everything in order. There we go. So I've got my two gaps and just everything. So yeah, keep your little tracy thing, the tracy tracy. Now I'm going to cover this in the bit of thing, bit of thing, bit of 
warbler that I cut out earlier. So foam on the sticky side. And that looks sufficiently heated. Uh, you can tell when it's gone hot when it goes slightly darker brown. If it's too hot, it will go a lovely shade of white. So one thing I kind of forgot, I just started bending around it, is because I'm going to be sticking it onto this piece, I want the top and the side bits uh, to not be folded over. And that's because I will stick those together and fold them on themselves later and you will see that happen. So I'm going to fold the bottom bit and the inside bit on itself. And now saying that, it's cooled down. So it's, oh no, it's foam. Totally foam. So yeah, it doesn't may, matter if you've made a mistake because Warbler is so versatile, it may, lets me unfold it when it's warm. So the idea is it's going to fit in here, in this piece, and then I'll stick those together and then fold them, fold them in. So now I'm going to stick this onto this. And when you're uh, you wanting to stick two bits of warbler together, you're going to need to heat both pieces. Uh, this is because if you just heat one piece, it's not going to stick together like bond as well. If both bits are sticky, they're really going to stick together. Um, so you don't want them falling off. So this is why I'm going to heat my base bit first and then I'm going to heat this bit because this has got not as much warbler. So notice how I only heated the bit that I'm going to stick on it. Obviously I don't need to heat the absolute whole bit. detail on it because I forgot it's all detailed and shit doesn't matter I have to correct the lighting anyway peel this off there we go <sighs> I'm back sorry I sort out the lighting situation and as you probably might have seen if I cut it in I made a slight mistake. So I want to show you this and I hoped that I'd make a genuine mistake. Um, I wrapped this up and forgetting it's not like my last plate where it was kind of not very detailed and stuff. Um, so I managed to just rip everything off and just rip off a giant square. Mistakes are a huge part of cosplay making. It happens but it's fixable and it's a good chance for me to show you how fixable things are with Warbler. So I'm going to get another piece. Since this is the base plate, no one's going to see it, which is amazing. So I'm going to get a piece and like just patch it up like you do. Cut out a piece that's roughly the size of kind of what I need. I think it goes on this way. <laughs> and I'm just going to stick that on like that and then carry on as normal. So I just wanted to show you that quickly. I didn't want to edit out the mistake because uh, mistakes are very real. And when they happen, don't panic. You can always fix it. So let's get to heating. This has gone a bit warped. This is the way I peeled it all off. But that's not a problem. I'm just going to and I've kept all the pieces as well that I missed up here it is <laughs> here's the bit that was covering my piece of foam because I was kind of too lazy to make a new piece 
so I literally just heated it up and peeled it off. The good thing is with craft foam you can kind of peel it off really easily, so that's nice. So again, I'm going to match this, I'm going to put the sticky side up, and just measure it. Peel that off. So press it down, it's nice and stuck on. And no one's gonna know the difference because it's gonna be underneath everything else. So this happens, other tutorials will give you start to finish with no hiccups, but I make mistakes frequently. So and I thought I'd show you. And now it's fixed! It's still not, it's not cold yet, but it's fixed, or fixed. No one's going to see it because it's going to be underneath everything else. So, getting back to what I was doing before. The reason I scrapped everything and started again is because uh, these look kind of organic and they've got some like nice bends in them. So I will show you how to make things look bendy. Boom! I'm gonna stick this on. I'm not gonna stick it on too much. So I'm gonna peel it off. And I'm gonna do. It's got some like. It's got a inverted rivet. Oh, my nail varnish has come off on it. <laughs> it's kind of like got an inverted rivet. So the beauty of this is because foam. So it's very pliable when it, it's heated. I'm j literally just pinching this inside like this and it's kind of hard to see but now you can see it's got a little bit of a bend in it. So I'm doing this without a giant hole in that. doesn't really matter. You can fill that in. So I'm pinching it on the inside and as this cools, this is going to take its shape, sorry, <laughs> I'm kind of concentrating. So this is like very, very rounded piece of armour, not armour, like it's, it's more like a piece of horn I think of the creature, it's definitely the colour of horn. So I'm doing it on the sides a little bit as well. I'm just moulding it to the kind of shape that I want. I want it very sort of bumpy and rivety. And, and that's what I forgot to do earlier. So I'm going to, again, make sure I've got the top bit, the top and the side bit, not folded over. So I can stick it straight on and then fold it over on itself when I'm done. We'll see that later. So again, I'm heating, I'm actually holding this and heating it, and I'm not pointing the heat gun towards me. So the magic of it is when you've got a larger piece or like a piece that you can't, that you need to specifically heat, as long as you aim it not at you, you'll be fine, which is why everything just blew off the table. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> Here we go, just bending it over. Can't doesn't need to be clean on the insides because no one will ever see it ever. So yeah, now I'm going to heat the main bit so I can shape it some more. Nice and organic looking. I'm gonna stick it on and the beauty of this is I can leave this to cool down and it'll keep its shape and then heat up the bits that I need to stick and all will be fine and dandy so I'm gonna heat this piece first and then stick this on so that's cool 
I just stick the edges down of my piece. And it's okay to just, once it's stuck on, just still shape it because this can just, it's going to be bent onto my arm anyway in the future. There we go. So I've got a nice sort of like kind of squarey, bumpy bit to my armour. So now it's lava, rinse and repeat throughout the whole length of it and then I'm going to move on and do the spiny bit that sticks out in the middle. So I've done all the rest of them down the arm now. As you can see there's quite a bit of a gap down the bottom. That's okay because I already cut this out to be much larger than it should be. So doing a little test on my arm, just placing it, it, it relatively like fits, it's the right length, so that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> so as you can see also, I've only, the ones that are not the top one, where I had to leave the top bit and the, the side bit unfolded, uh, here it's just the side bits obviously, and I forgot to do the bottom bit, so that's a mistake, but it doesn't matter because I'll remember it for next time. <laughs> so yeah, I was meant to leave that down there, but I didn't. Uh, that's okay though, so now we're going to do the bit that sticks up from this, which I'll show you right now.